Drip emitters, often referred to as drippers, come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Drippers all have one thing in common. They regulate water flow to your plants. All drippers are rated in gallons per hour or GPH. This rating indicates how much water the dripper will emit in one hour. Drippers can also be pressure compensating or non-pressure compensating. This feature indicates whether or not the dripper will automatically adjust its water output as pressure levels fluctuate. Drippers can also have various physical designs such as button drippers or flag drippers. Some drippers have a barbed outlet while others do not. Choosing a dripper for your system is easy. Just remember that there is no single right answer. To narrow your choices, first, choose a GPH rating. Just make your best guess. You can always rearrange things later if you need to, and you can adjust your watering time to compensate for different dripper output. The most commonly used dripper is the one gallon per hour and half gallon per hour dripper. Second, decide on whether or not you want a pressure compensating dripper or a non-pressure compensating dripper. There is no wrong choice. Pressure compensating drippers are nice, but they do cost more. For small systems with 100 feet of tubing or less, a non-pressure compensating dripper is often used. Third, decide if you want to attach quarter inch tubing to the dripper's output barb. If you do, you'll need a dripper with a barbed outlet. As you watch this video, you will see various configurations. Some drippers will be inserted directly into half-inch tubing, others will be used at the end of quarter-inch tubing. Some drippers will be supported by a stabilizer stake and others will not. You can mix and match configurations as much as you like and doing so will not affect the performance of your system. You can mix drippers with sprinklers, drippers with different GPH ratings, button drippers and flag drippers and more. That's all there is to it.